Okay, so we're back on our discussion on Lap Laplace transform of functions. I guess we we'll just have here. Okay, so that will be our topic, Laplace transform of functions. So we have here the table of Laplace transform, this one. Okay, so I have, uh, in the previous video, I have discussed, discussed the, uh, the, uh, the entry of these tables or the, the, the entry of the tables here so now we will apply the table in answering Lap, uh, in getting the Laplace transform of some functions okay so first we will have this example okay I guess I will not write Laplace transform, but just um, this one. Okay. That is uh, t squared plus 4t minus 5. Okay, so we have this one. Okay, so we need to obtain the Laplace transform of t squared plus 4t minus 5. Okay, so we have our solution. Okay, so we could use one of the property of the Laplace transform, that transform in which we could break down the each of the term in of the function which we are going to get the Laplace transform. So how we do that? So we have here, just uh, copy again our given function. So did we could um, break break this into three terms each term we are going to get the laplace transform so this will be t squared then plus laplace transform for t uh, minus laplace transform of 5 okay so for the first one so that is t squared so this is t to the n so if we're going back to our um going back to our table so this is t to the n so that will be n factorial s n s raised to the power of n plus 1 so we have our n is 2 so that will be 2 factorial over s okay s 2 plus 3 in this one this is also we could um we could uh, consider our 4 as constant or just the coefficients. We have 4. Then the Laplace transform of t. So that is t to the n where our n is 1. So that will be 1 factorial over s1 plus 1. Okay. Then minus. So this is the, fact, the, this is the Laplace transform of a constant. So that will just be one, uh, 5 over s. Then 2 factorial, that is equal to 2, so that is 2 times 1, so that is 2. Then s cubed plus 4 factorial, that is 1, times 4, so that is 4 over s squared minus 5 over s. And this is now our answer, okay? So we will have another example. So next, Okay, so we have this one. We need to obtain the Laplace transform of e raised to the power of negative 2t plus 4 e raised to the power of negative 3t. So, solution. So, just copy first our um, given, uh, given Laplace transform. So, we have 4a negative 3t. So, we just break break this down into each term getting the laplace transform for each term of the function so we could have our 4 as a coefficient okay 
this will be a negative 3t okay so we have now that one then our using our table okay so we have so that is s minus a but for this one our a is positive a is a positive constant but on the given here this is negative okay so we could have this one as 1 over s minus our a is negative 2 plus 4 1 over s minus our a is negative 3 okay so we have s uh, no, we have 1 over s plus 2 plus 4 over s plus 3 okay then if you are going to get the lcm so we have s plus 2 so we just go this farther so that we could simplify better our uh, solution i guess my um, pen is not straight so we have s plus 2 so this will be s plus 3 plus 4s plus 8 so we could simplify this further as 5s plus 11 over s plus 2 times s plus 3 so this is now our answer okay so that is how we will be using our table in solving the Laplace transform of common functions okay so i hope you understand something in this video and thank you for watching and as always enjoy learning